All right, so we have started recording and I don't see any students yet, so I will let you um, take it from here as soon as I share this amazing screen here. <laughs> All right, so here's our first session and we have two amazing presenters, Joseph and Guillermo, and I will let them speak. If you have any questions, please send them to our study abroad advisors. Well, thank you very much, Pamela. Uh, buenos dias a todos y bienvenidos. Welcome to all of the students from University of Wisconsin, Stout, to our presentation. Uh, my name is Joseph and I'm actually American. I'm from Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, but I've lived here for a long time. And my colleague Guillermo Lopez de la Cuesta, he's the genuine Spanish person of the presentation, and he will be participating in the second part, talking to you about the study abroad courses or the summer courses that we offer. I will be concentrating basically on the bilateral exchanges that we have with you. Uh, we have signed an international exchange agreement with your university in the fields of engineering and humanities. So that would give you the opportunity to come to Madrid and study with us for a semester or a year on exchange. Uh, and then the other opportunity would be in the summer, which Guillermo will talk about later on in the presentation. So here is the agenda for our presentation. If you can go back to that. Thank you, Guillermo, just for a second. Uh, first, we'll talk a little bit about the university in case you're not familiar with it. Then I will talk about exchange programs specifically. Uh, our student exchange agreement. Then Guillermo will speak about study abroad opportunities. Uh, basically, the Spanish language courses for those students who would like to learn or perfect their Spanish in the summer. And then we have a series of courses that are offered in Spanish, taught for advanced speakers of Spanish or for native speakers as well. We have quite a few Mexican and Guatemalan students on those courses also in the summer. Uh, then finally, Guillermo will talk about cultural and social opportunities in Madrid. And if there are any students present at the end, we can uh, accept some questions and have a Q&A session. So next slide. Our university is called um, Universidad Pontificia Comillas in Spanish. The translation in English is Comillas Pontifical University, and it's located in Madrid, Spain. Uh, we have three <coughs> campuses in Madrid two larger campuses, one exactly in the center uh, of the city. Uh, that would be basically for business, law, and engineering. Our humanities campus is located on the outskirts of Madrid in a place called Canto Blanco, and also theology is taught there since this is a Catholic university. And we also have a small school of nursing and uh, physical therapy located in a small village about 40 kilometers from Madrid. Uh, if you come on exchange, then you would come to engineering in the center or humanities. It's only about 20 kilometers, which would be 12 or 14 miles or so from the center of Madrid. And it's perfectly connected by uh, the metro subway system and also by train. So you'll have no problems getting to either campus in Madrid. The university was founded in 1890, so we're over 100 years old. And we are a Jesuit university. It's a Catholic university uh, belonging to the worldwide network of Jesuit universities. Just to give you a few examples, uh, actually, you have a Jesuit university. Marquette University is Jesuit in Wisconsin. Also, uh, Georgetown, Boston College. Uh, John Carroll University, San Francisco, Santa Clara in California, those are all Jesuit universities. But I'd like to emphasize that we are a very open, inclusive university where there's no religious requirement to study. So we have uh, students of all different faiths. We have mostly, of course, Catholic students because Spain is a very Catholic country. But we also in our international program have Muslim, Jewish, 
Asiatic religions among our students. So uh, you're very welcome to come uh, to our university uh, belonging to any faith uh, in the world. Uh, the university is basically well known for quality in teaching and education. The Jesuits, uh, those universities that I mentioned in, in the United States have a good academic reputation. And we're usually ranked within the top five or 10 universities in Spain among a total of about 80 some institutions of higher learning in the country. Our uh, faculties of law, engineering, business, humanities, are among the top uh, faculties and schools in Spain. In total, we have about 13,000 undergraduate, graduate, and exchange students. Of that number, about uh, 8,500 are undergraduate, two to 3,000 graduate students, and the rest would be uh, student, students on exchange. From all places in the world, we have a large number of Latin American students because of the connection between Spain and Latin America. We have uh, European, of course, from all of the different European countries, and also a large number of programs in Asia now, and even in Australia and New Zealand. So we truly have a worldwide exchange program. Uh, the university has some seven schools and faculties, and as I said, three campuses located in Madrid. So for exchange programs, basically, I don't want to go into too many details because usually it's hard to absorb all of the details in a presentation like this, but just really whet your appetite to explore further. Uh, one way that you can do that is either through our web page or by visiting your international office or your study abroad office at the university. The selection will be made by your university and they will send the applicants to us. So what you can do uh, in the meantime is look at our web page. The exchanges can be either for a semester or a year, depending on the field. In engineering, we accept both a semester and a year and also in humanities as well. So you'll have to check with your international office on the number of places available for any given semester or year. As I mentioned before, with Wisconsin Stout, the fields open to exchange are in fields of engineering and in humanities. And just so you know what the humanities are here, we consider those to be philosophy, psychology, international relations, teacher education, languages, translation, and interpreting. Those would be the basic fields open for the humanities. Next slide. So our web page, if you'd like to view it, uh, you can see the uh, address there is www.comillas.edu slash en is for English, and it's also available in Spanish. That would be the same address slash es for Espanol. Uh, when you go into the web page then, you'll want to uh, click on life on campus and then international students after that. And within that uh, uh, category there, you have the choice for incoming and outgoing students. Really, if you just sit down very patiently with the web page and click here and click there, it usually takes a couple of minutes of exploration, but I'm sure that you'll be able to, to find your way to navigate through the, uh, the web page. So uh, basically, uh, the last points I wanted to make, uh, students are usually worried about uh, lodging accommodations when they uh, go abroad. We have uh, housing providers, accommodation providers available uh, to help you with all of the different possibilities for lodging uh, students. A lot of American students like to stay with the family. Uh, that can be with uh, no board or half board or full board with some meals, no meals. We have all of the different possibilities possible. If you just get in touch with us, we'll put you in contact with the housing providers and they'll send you all of the, the possibilities and prices for that. And also just to let you know, um, 
because of the pandemic at the moment, uh, of course, there are travel restrictions between a lot of, or among the countries of the world. We do have almost 100 students here on exchange. Uh, amazingly, at the moment, most of them are European students because of worldwide travel restrictions. But since the process of vaccination has started now, we hope that that will go quickly in the next few months and that we can at least get back to normal, if not for the summer, probably for the fall semester. So we're planning to go ahead with the exchanges in the fall and you can explore on our webpage, inquire at your study abroad and international offices with a view to perhaps coming to Madrid uh, for the fall semester or for the entire 2020-2021 school year. Uh, now I'll hand it over to my colleague Guillermo and he'll tell you a bit more about study abroad in Madrid. Thank you, Joseph, and hi to everyone. My name is Guillermo López de la Cuesta. I'm the coordinator of Comillas International Courses. Comillas International is the office uh, of study, uh, study abroad programs, uh, the fee paying courses that is open to everyone. So um, how many ways are to, com uh, to come to Comillas? There's two. First one is the one Joseph has, has explained, a uh, bilateral ex uh, exchange agreement, or the other ways through our study abroad programs. Fee paying courses open to everyone. And in Comillas International, we offer a Spanish language and culture course, specialized summer courses, and tailor made courses as well. All the information that I'm going to give you uh, are, is available in our website. Uh, you, if you have this presentation available, you can just click in the in the in the link, or uh, as Joseph has explained through uh, the um, the process he he told you before. Well, um, one second. Now, uh, first of all, is our Spanish language and culture course. It is a course um, for in uh, for students who has an intermediate level of Spanish. And which and wish who uh, to improve their language competence. Sorry, <laughs> their language competence, and as well to gain uh, um, and sorry, I, uh, I, to gain a knowledge of the Spanish culture. Um, what we want is to um, is to, to uh, with this course is. Uh, to help students to um, uh, to use the Spanish language properly and as well gain a, a, a little background uh, knowledge on the background of the culture story of uh, of Spain. Um, there uh, is a sixty hours course, and you will will grant a six each CTS credits European Credit Transfer System, and there is four week courses from Monday to Thursday from the seventeenth of May until the eleventh of June. Uh, right now, we have to think about next year, uh, summer 22, uh, but you'll have this information recorded so you can uh, see it at any time. Uh, we hope to see you in the next uh, summer when everything hopefully comes back to normal. Well, the cost for this year's course is 1,115 euros. And with that course, you have all the classes and a student card access to all the uh, university facilities that will be like gym, cafeteria, library, um, computer facilities, uh, and everything. A diploma is awarded uh, after completion of the course and a transcript with the grades. <coughs> all cultural visits are included with the, with the prize. <coughs> the other course is the specialized summer course, international specialized courses in the areas of business administration, law, engineering, humanities, or um, or entrepreneurship. So there is a seven independent course taught in English or uh, taught in Spanish or in English. There is two of them taught in English that I would like to mention: is digital marketing and digital business. In, and innovation of the four industrial uh, globalized uh, in the four industrial revolution in a globalized world, and the other courses are taught in Spanish, and um, uh, to be a, to be able to uh, to enroll in these courses, 
you should be at the same level of studies that that will be uh, after uh, over second year from third year on. Uh, these courses, these is specialized summer courses, um, have a duration of 80 class hours plus 10 hours uh, of visit of cultural and, and of cultural visits and um, uh, technical visits. That will you will be awarded with nine ECTS credits. They're four weeks long as well as the as the, length, as the Spanish course. And classes will be from Monday to Thursday, and there is two periods. Next year, there will be the same periods and the same, uh, the same subjects, so don't worry. And the price won't vary much. So that will, be, that will give you the same facilities as the Spanish and language course. You will be one of our students for all the summer. And now is the time to tell you why Madrid is the perfect uh, city to, to study. And first of all, uh, the location is really important. We are located nearly in the middle of the uh, Spanish territory. That will give you an easy access to all major cities in Spain and in Europe. Uh, you have buses, uh, train, and cars with an easy, easy access. And as well, the, is the, the Madrid airport is located 15 kilometers away from the center of Madrid. So you'll have direct ties to most of all the uh, European countries. And uh, uh, we have one of the most important museums, Museo del Prado, as well as other museums, as this in Reina Sofia and many other, um, many other activi cultural activities that you can do. The gastronomy is endless. You have from cuisine until tapas. Uh, uh, all the terrors, uh, uh, I hope all the terrors of Madrid will be open. Right now they're open with a limited access, but I hope in 2022 uh, could be uh, open to everyone, for sure. And I, I don't have to talk about the sports in Madrid with two of the best soccer teams in Madrid, located in Madrid. And with uh, and, and and with the stack, so we have uh, basketball, uh, tennis, and all the sports you can imagine. So we don't miss them. And that's it. Uh, right now we'll have a short uh, time for questions and answers. And uh, and that's it. I hope you get enjoyed. Thank you so much. That was very informative and very inviting. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful program. Um, I think I will stop the recording now and mm -hmm. if I <laughs> if I can find out how to do that. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, I see where it is recording. Mm, let's see. Okay, here we go. Stop recording.